Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that <clears throat> before you watch this video, um, I have been having some trouble with Sony Vegas lately, and I'm trying to work it out, so I hope you guys can understand. I know it sounds like I'm making a lot of excuses, but by the time you see this video, I'll probably have the problem sorted out, so that's, that'll, uh, be, um, that'll all be good. And, I, I'm really sorry for, for not being able to upload on schedule, I really would like to, but... I'm having a lot of technical difficulties uh, with my Hapog, my Xbox, my computer, Sony Vegas, Fraps, all that stuff. But I did manage to record some Fraps. I got Fraps working again. And in the background, you'll be seeing a game called uh, War Inc. Warzone Inc., I think. And it's a pretty good game for the PC, even though I'm not a very big PC gamer. But, uh, yeah, so... I hope you guys can understand. I'm going to be naming it Takeaway and then whatever day it is uploaded, not Tuesdays, because it's obviously not Tuesday. And I just hope you guys really understand it. I, I, I really, I really wanted to bring you guys this video. I tried to upload it, um, like four, four times, I think. Four, I tried to render it four times and it didn't work. And then I turned off my computer and I tried it again like a billion times. And this was all on Tuesday and it just wouldn't work. So um, I hope you guys understand. But, anyways, without further ado, here's the video. What is up, guys? It is Ninja Gamer here. And I forgot to put in the intro, so I'm actually going to have to do that after I am done. Uh, recording my voice, recording this little uh, commentary. Um, a lot of you guys might be wondering what game is uh, playing in the background, and it's uh, called um, Warzone Inc. I think and it's free. It's a pretty fun game. Um, I'm personally not a big fan of PC games, but this game is a pretty fun game and is easy to record because Fraps is much easier than my current uh, Xbox gaming situation. And if you don't know what my current Xbox gaming situation is, um, go check out my last video, uh, it was a MOBE actually, I think, um, so yeah, go check that out, uh, I'm, I'm not very good at this game, I'm actually, like, awful, I, I, this game I do manage to go even, which is pretty good for me, and that was a little snipe, in case you guys saw that, you no, know, no big deal, snipe across the map on a PC with the mouse, forever alone, no, um, but, this is a Super Saturdays episode, so there's going to be a moral um, in this video. And sorry about me saying um so much because I do I do say it, but I'm trying to work on uh, not. I just said it again. I said uh, I'm trying to work on not saying it because I do realize it can be a little annoying when you keep hearing me saying uh or um, and I I, I know that doesn't make a good a good commentary and. I also am going to try to put more emotion into my commentaries. Uh, I just did it again. I just did it again. I'm going to try to put more. Emo <laughs> I'm going to try to put more emotion into my commentaries. Uh, so, oh my God! I can't stop doing it. I'm going to try to put more emotion into my commentaries. So, uh, I started to do it, but then I stopped myself. So here we go. In English class, we are doing. Uh, I just did it again. We are doing. A, I'm. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. Uh, I just did it again. I'm gonna work on it. But in English class, we're doing a unit on racism, and we're kind of like working into. Uh, a. See, I didn't say it. I said a. Uh, I just said it again. But we're 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 working on a unit about racism, and I. It kind of got me thinking, and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this commentary. I want to talk about racism, why you shouldn't be racist, why there's no reason to be racist, and I think I'm going to be doing a couple series on um, homo... Ho I'm not homosexuality. I'm going to be doing a, a little... a uh, bunch of these episodes on bullying, but I'm going to like split it up. So like I'm going to do like bullying about racism, bullying about homosexuality, bullying about uh, different things, and I'm going to talk about all these different things. So, if you guys are interested in, uh, are interested in, uh, more serious, I just said it, I said it like five times, no, but if you guys are some interested in more serious commentaries, uh, I do recommend watching this series, because it, it is something that gets you thinking, 
I know I'm not a very good, um, I, oh my god. When I start to say it, I can't really, like, turn it into something else. But, I do know that I'm not the best, uh, at talking about serious stuff. Because, I, I can't, like, for me, personally, it's hard to get into, like, talking to myself, pretty much, and a microphone. Uh, right there was a grenade fail, but I am going to work on it because I think it's going to come easier to me as I commentate more, and it probably will. So, I I'm going to try to do that. So, yeah. Racism has been a really big thing, and a lot of you guys probably think that it isn't a big thing anymore. And that is completely wrong. It's still a big problem. And in English class, we watched a couple videos actually, but this one was the one that was most meaningful to me. It's it's not completely new. It was filmed in like 2007, I think. And basically, it they 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 didn't live there, but for like a week they rented a hotel, a white guy and a black guy, and they did a bunch of tests. Like one of the tests was they would go into a store. And this, this, the guy, I'm not sure how to, what, what his job is actually called, but he, um, he, like, greets people, asks them how their day is and stuff. He asks the white guy how his day was, you know, he greets him, tells him where everything is, asks him if he has any questions. But the black guy walks in, he just completely ignores him. He just, he's just standing there. And that, to me, that's, that's, that's racism. That's still a pretty big deal. That can't just be a coincidence because uh, also they they went to a CD store and the white guy was looking around and he, nobody bothered him or anything and the black guy was looking around and he noticed that somebody some guy started to follow him and, they, and then they showed us the clips again of them browsing the store and it was clear that this this the, the store clerk was uh, following him, making sure nothing, nothing wrong was going on, and that's that's pretty bad because another one of the tests that they did, they uh, they went to a, st uh, a st uh, dry cleaning store that had a sign that said jobs available, and the white guy went in and they're like, yeah, you could have a job, you have jobs available, and then the black guy went in and they're like, sorry, um, that sign is outdated, there's no jobs available, and that's that's pretty bad. And I do want you guys to think about what you can do to stop this. I mean, I know one person can't do a lot, um, but but one person can do a lot. It, 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 one person with everyone else is is going to do a lot, and and everybody else isn't going to happen without you because you are going to be part of everybody else. So you can make a difference. You you can like n people. People, a lot of people won't change, but other people will change, and it's going to take time to make people change, and it's going to take time to make this world uh, a better place, but it's possible. I mean, this is kind of like, might sound a little silly, but I'm, it's, it's, I think that it's going to happen. I think that... You know, my generation, um, I'm, I just did it again, and I just, I just did a really bad one too, but my generation, you know, 13 year olds, this, uh, 14 year olds, 13, 14 year olds, are, are being taught this stuff in school. I mean, if you look back 10 years ago, all those, like, older kids and, and all, all, like, your, your parents, and they were never even, they never even talked about racism or, or homosexuality or or bullying in school it wasn't a problem but now this stuff is starting to become a problem and schools are starting to act on that problem which is a pretty amazing thing if you think about it because I and mean, think it's it's a community it's it's a community is what's going to help end this so um, I only I think for only half the video I talked about uh, the, the real t subject but uh, thanks for watching and see ya.